What's up guys? So for those of you who don't know, my name's Dalton. I resell mostly used shoes on platforms like Poshmark, Mercari, and eBay. Um, today's Wednesday and the Salvation Armies in my local area do half off days on Wednesday. This is when I get the majority of my inventory. Right now my bike, I have about 250 shoes in inventory and my buy cost per pair is at $6.06 .06, and this is the main reason why because I'm buying most of them for half off from Salvation Army on Wednesdays. So I figured today I'd try to record some of it, bring you guys along with me, see if I could provide some value by you seeing what I'm picking up, what I'm leaving behind. I'm trying to get, gonna get as much footage as I can inside the store, but you know, it, it gets kind of hectic. I'll definitely do a recap at the end of the video of what all I picked up today. I just want to point out how thorough you need to be. These New Balance Minimus are usually a great pickup. If you stick your hand in here, you can see there's a big tear right there. So, gonna have to pass on these. All right, so just managed to stand in line for 45 minutes as usual at this one but managed to get eight pairs and only paid $39. So as of right now, our buy cost is still under that $5 mark. So next we got a, another Salvation Army. That's about 30 minutes away. So we're gonna hit that one. And then we got one more after this. And the lady in there told me that a truck just showed up with shoes. And she said it's gonna be a few hours before they get to them but she said they're gonna try to get them out, put out by the end of the day, so we might make a trip back to the Salvation Army before we call it quits. But, on to the next. All right, this stop's usually pretty quick. It's usually a hit or a miss, but they only have like three racks of uh, shoes in here. But I find a lot of good like Jordans and Nikes in here, so we'll see what we can put, see what we can find. Yeah, so that was a quick stop. Uh, I was only in there about 20 minutes. I grabbed four pairs of shoes, paid $20 even. So we're still hitting that $5 buy cost, which is good, but there really wasn't much in there. Like I said, that one's always a hit and miss. Never know what you're gonna get there. But we got one more and then we'll probably swing down back to the one we started at because that one's the closest to my house. Hopefully we'll hit the restock there and that'll be re really good. So on to the next one. the last Salvation Army in the area for me. This one's usually pretty good, but I mean, being later in the day, it might not be, but we'll see what we can find. I was trying to record in here, but I have the squeakiest cart ever, so didn't get much footage, but here's what, I, here's what I've got so far. I've got a few pair of Cole Hans, a pair of Brooks, these uh, A6 gel nooses, a pair of Sass loafers, Reebok CrossFits, some Ciccones. Just gotta go through these and decide what I'm keeping. So I had a couple things to point out on these shoes. At first glance, they look great. Um, but if you look closely on the toe box, these A6 have a nice, nice little hole in them. And then with these Brooks, fold this over. You can see it's tearing right there. Starting to right there. So yeah, these are, these are gonna be passes for me. So it's honestly been a pretty slow day. Uh, I picked up six pairs in there. It was $33 even, so right over five bucks a pair, um, which is great. I mean, I think I've picked up around 20 pairs today for right at $5. 
I'm right next to a boys and girls club, which always prices super cheap. So I'm gonna swing in there, and they they don't have much of a selection. But every now and then I find some pretty good stuff there. So I'm gonna swing in there, and then depending on how bad traffic is, I'll probably go back down to the Kissimmee Salvation Army, the first one I went to, and see if they put more shoes out. The lady said it would be a couple hours, and it's definitely been a couple hours since she said that. So hopefully I can hit a restock when I get back down there, and that would be really good. It'd be a good way to finish the day. So on to the next. All right, so we're back at the, uh, the first stop. Uh, we're gonna see if they put the shoes out from earlier. The manager told me that they'd have some more coming. They said the truck came in like right as I got here in the morning, so hopefully that they got a, uh, so hopefully they got more shoes put out on the floor because today's been pretty slow. I mean, I've only picked up about 20 pairs, if that. So hopefully this will make up for it, but if not, it's what happens. All right, so we definitely had a restock. Um, it wasn't nothing crazy. Yeah, it wasn't nothing crazy. Um, unfortunately, they had like three pairs of Brooks that were in like pristine condition on the tread, but had some tears around the ankle, so that's always a bummer. But still walked out with a bag full of stuff. I think had eight pairs in here for $39, I believe. So yeah, still at the, still at the $5 mark. All right, so here's the haul from today. Um, wasn't the best, got 25 pairs. Paid $139, or $132, I'm sorry, for all 25 of these pairs. So that brings the buy cost to about $5.32 a pair, I believe. Um, so yeah, that's going to be it for today. Um, like I said, this wasn't the best swap day I've ever had, but I'm not complaining. 25, 25 pairs for $5.30 a pair is perfect, um, well underneath the $10 limit that I try to stay under and picked up 25 great pairs of shoes. So so I'm headed home now. Um, I'll probably do a rundown of everything I got, either tonight or tomorrow. Um, I've still got a bunch of shoes to list, so I don't know if I'll get to the finish in this video tonight, but definitely by tomorrow. So I hope you guys stay tuned for that. All right, so it's actually the next day. My lip is a little bit more broken out than it was yesterday, but it's all good. Uh, we're actually headed to the post office. I got a couple sales that sold last night that I need to take in, and when I get back to my apartment, We'll go over everything I purchased yesterday, so we'll see you then. Actually gonna swing into the bins real quick because I mean, why not, right? All right, I was only in there for like 10 minutes before they closed the uh, the shoe wall down to restock it. I'm not gonna sit there and wait an hour on the restock, but while I was in there, I grabbed three shoes, only paid 10 bucks, so 3.30 a pair. A nice pair of Allen Edmonds, a pair of Danskos, and some Clarks. When I get home, I'll throw it in with the haul and I'll show you uh, what I got today and yesterday. So we'll hop into that now. All right, so I'm back home. I'll try to run through everything that I picked up as quick as possible. I'm gonna go go ahead and start off with what I just picked up from the bins. Um, I got this pair of Dansko clogs. Not the most sought after model, but is a great brand to pick up. Next, I got these Clarks. Um, the comps on these were between 30 and $40. And then the best find from the bins were these Allen Edmonds uh, Chucka boots with the Vibram soles. These were going for about $60 to $70, and I paid $10 for those last three pairs. Next on to the uh, Salvation Army half-off pickups. Um, I'll start with the best find. If you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen these LeBrons. Uh, comps were over $100 for these. Next, I got a pair of uh, Jordan Flights. Not Again, not this most sought after style, but Jordan's a good, good brand to pick up. Next, I got a pair of Shape Ups. Uh, you always wanna give these a really good twist, make sure that foam's in good condition. Um, I've actually never found a pair of these before, but these are Puma uh, BMW shoes. Um, Puma and Ferrari does really well. So so I'm sure these will also do pretty good. Next, I got a really clean pair of Asics. Uh, I'll probably have to get some new laces for these. I don't really like these, but really good, really good condition. Next, I got a pair of uh, New Balance 786 V8s. Comps on these were at like $50 to $60. Next, I got a pair of uh, Salomon 
These are the Speed Cross 3s. These usually fetch around $40. Um, next, I got a pair of Crocs Yukon. Um, these sell really quick for me. Usually get between $30 and $40 for them. Next up, I got two pair of Cole Hans that are in almost brand new condition. First are these little slip-on loafers. I think the same guy donated these because they're both the same exact size. And then these uh, Oxford sneakers. Again, almost brand new. Next, I got a pair of Clarks that are also like new. These do really good on Facebook Marketplace for me. Next up, we got a pair of Reebok Zigs. Um, this is one of the more popular Reebok models, so I always pick these up. Next up, I got a pair of Brooks. These are the Pure, Pure Cadence Fives. Got a pair of Youth Timberland boots that are in very good condition. I can't remember exactly what these were called. Um, they're Nikes, not sure of the model. Um, I do remember looking up comps though and they were over $40. Next I got a pair of these Janoskis. Janoskis sell super quick for me as well, between $35 and $45. Next up is these pink Nike Torch 4s. Another really good model of Nikes to look out for. We've got another pair of Brooks. These are the Ghost 7s. Um, and the colorway is not the best on these, but they should still fetch at least $30. Next, I picked up these uh, Baby Jordans. Um, they're Valentine's Day edition, so I'm hoping with the season these might sell for me. The comps weren't crazy on these, but I should be able to get at least $25 for them. Next are these Nike Dunks. Um, there were no comps for these, but there was a bunch of, not a bunch, there was like three or four of them listed, and they're all listed between $70 to $100, so taking a chance on these. Next up's a pair of Sacconis or Sauconis. Um, with these, I always make sure that they're a really good colorway. Um, nothing that's like gray or off or not very bright. These usually get between $30 and $40. Next up is a pair of Reebok CrossFit. Um, I've never seen this model before, but Reebok CrossFit is very popular and these are in very good condition. And these are workout shoes, so you need to make sure that the tread is still, there's still plenty of life left in the tread. Next up, we got a pair of Mizunos. Uh, Mizuno is another really good running band brand to look out for. These usually get at least $40 for me. And then we've got another pair of Brooks. These ones are in very good condition, and these are a newer model, so these should, these should sell really quick and for pretty good money. And last up, we've got a pair of Youth Ugg boots, and this is a really good design, so these will these will also probably sell really quick for at least at least $35, $40. So I hope this uh, helps some of you out so you have an idea of what I'm picking up when I'm sourcing. Um, if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below, and please don't forget to subscribe. There's more videos coming soon. Thanks, guys.